we start off the draft with Saquon Barkley and Alvin Kamara as our running back one and two. Welcome, addicts. Trying something totally new today. I saw on Drafters, the website that we did our last best ball league in, and they have three team best ball drafts. You heard me right, three teams. So as you can see, I'm on the clock. I'm right in the middle. So perfect, I don't get either turn. I'll just have to be a little bit strategic each pick here. Same lineup that we had in our other one. We got 18 players. Got to get one quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, one tight end. I have not done any other uh, preparing for this one. So let's just see how this goes. I'm thinking you want to strategize a little bit heavier around making sure you get a good quarterback and a tight end, but I'm not super worried about it because I'd still much rather have Saquon Barkley than any of those guys. So we'll go Saquon Barkley with our first pick. I'm just curious to see how ridiculous these teams are going to look. Oh my gosh, I'm already back, <laughs> back on the clock. Uh, so we took Dalvin Cook in our last draft. I think I'm going to jump and take Alvin Kamara this time. So we start off the draft with Saquon Barkley and Alvin Kamara as our running back one and two. I still think we want a similar spread in terms of how we want our roster construction. Uh, but we have to shoot for absolute upside here. So... Probably let's think in between tight end or wide receiver here. I think we can still get George Kittle. Let's go with Tyreek Hill. So we start off with Saquon Barkley, Alvin Kamara, Tyreek Hill. Derrick Henry goes next. Julio Jones next. All right, so now we have a choice. Let's see where we're at. Let's slow this down a little bit and think this one through. I don't want to go quarterback just yet. Someone's probably going to double down and take Lamar and Patrick Mahomes. That's fine. Still have Joe Mixon. Still have Nick Chubb. Still have Miles Sanders. Am I crazy to jump and take a tight end here? Because there's still a lot of high end. I want to make sure we get a top tier tight end. So let's take George Kittle. And see if we can get the other guy to jump and take Travis Kelsey. It worked. And Lamar Jackson. All right. Well, I think the point of this is to shoot for upside. And no one gives us more upside than Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. So we'll just follow suit and take Patrick Mahomes. Something I would never advise in a normal best ball league, but this is a ridiculous best ball league. All right. DeAndre Hopkins goes. I think we need another running back here. Looking down my list. Uh, Joe Mixon gone. My next running back on my board is Miles Sanders. Love his upside. And best ball, we're just shooting for absolute upside in everything that we do. I think Miles Sanders could be a complete smash play this year. So we're getting a lot of receiving backs here. Going to need to start throwing a lot of weight at wide receiver here pretty shortly. Interested to see where this guy goes. Chris Godwin, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Whew, <laughs> these teams are ridiculous. <laughs> these teams are absolutely insane in terms of the guys that were drafting. Right. Oh, man, okay. <sighs> Do we take Nick Chubb? Or do we take Amari Cooper? Still have Kenny Galladay there. Amari Cooper just gives us ridiculous upside in a best ball league. I want I I want that upside of Amari Cooper. So now we got Amari Cooper and Tyree Kill, Saquon Barkley, Alvin Kamara, and Miles Sanders. Kenny Galladay and Kenyon Drake off the board. So we still have Nick Chubb. We can take Nick Chubb. I think we're gonna take Nick Chubb. I love DJ Moore. I love Allen Robinson. I think one of those guys makes it back to me with my next pick. We're going to take Nick Chubb here. And now our running backs. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> 
How can you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is basically just a. This is basically just a, a a lottery ticket game here, where you're just trying to hope that you get the most hits in the first couple rounds, because you're basically just drafting from guys that will be going in the first four rounds. This is insane. Whew. Austin Eckler goes. Not looking at tight ends. Quarterbacks are still falling. I know I'm crazy, but I like DJ Moore more than Mike Evans. We're going to go DJ Moore here. And we'll either take Odell or Allen Robinson. Oh, if we have to choose between them. Ah, I have Allen Robinson ranked above Odell. I know it's a little crazy, but I got to stick with my rankings here. Let's take Allen Robinson. See a few more tight ends go off, but I think with with having George Kittle, we can just nail down a few other guys later. Might take Kyler Murray with our next pick, if he's still there. Quarterbacks haven't been tapped in a while. Man, this these are insane teams, dude, and these go very fast. Mike Evans. And Odell. All right. Again, don't typically recommend this, but in a league like this, we're shooting for tons of upside. I love what Kyler Murray has there in, with Cliff Kingsbury's offense that wants to run a lot of plays. Now he has a true alpha receiver. Let's just lock down the quarterback position. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We'll end up taking three tight ends. I started a slight quarterback run here. Let's, yep, I totally started quarterback run. So we see uh, Wilson and Prescott go. I love Dak a lot this year too, but Dak has the same bye week as Patrick Mahomes. That was another reason for going Murray over uh, Prescott there. Debating. Screw it, guys. We're shooting for upside, right? Let's get Clyde Edwards Hilaire in here. <laughs> this is insane. Tom Brady, okay. Ah, Juju, okay. I think the play here is to take A.J. Brown. Love A.J. Brown this year. Not sure how consistent he'll be, but I think he'll end up with enough boom games. Just going after those guys so he can give us boom weeks. I already have five running backs I feel very confident in. Uh, so just shoring up some high variance, high upside wide receivers. Guys like Allen Robinson, A.J. Brown give us a really high weekly ceiling. Amari Cooper, the highest weekly ceiling of them all. Tyreek Kill as well. I feel like we're killing this, but... I'm sure the other looking at the other two teams, I'm going to be like, well, they code it too, because when you only have three teams, it's not that hard. Uh, I think we'll take one more running back here. I like Leonard Fournette a lot. He's playing for his contract this year. I also like Jonathan Taylor. We've laid out our excuse for uh, why we liked him in the last video. Uh, going for upside, going for upside. I think Jonathan Taylor gives us more upside. So we'll we'll double down on the rookie running backs here. And that's it for running back for me. I've got four more picks left. Got five running backs. Oh, sorry, six running backs. And that means with the wide receivers, we'll probably take two more wide receivers. I think we need to see if we can nab our man Tyler Higby here. Love Tyler Higby so much this year. And also, well, don't know that I'd take Tyler Higby over Hunter Henry or uh, Evan Ingram. Gah, Evan Ingram's definitely an upside play for sure. We have George Kittle, so I'm not as worried about it. Evan Ingram has the same bye week as, as George Kittle, so I'll probably try to uh, grab Hunter Henry and Tyler Higby. But let's make sure I'm not missing something here at wide receiver. 
I think I'm missing something. I am missing something. Oh, crap. i got to choose between Cooper Cup and Calvin Ridley. We got Calvin Ridley in the last one. Let's take Cooper Cup. If Calvin Ridley falls back to us, we know what to do. Well, we know what to do. <laughs> Goodness, my Lanta, this is ridiculous. Okay, so taking Calvin Ridley. We'll have two more picks after this. Uh, I'm not taking DK Metcalf. Let's take Calvin Ridley. Got Calvin Ridley now. Our wide receivers are short up. Now we just have to go through and figure out. All right, we have George Kittle. So we don't want to take Evan Ingram because it's the same bye week. Do we want to take two tight ends here, or do we want to take a tight end and a quarterback? We have Kyler and Patrick Mahomes. My guess is we don't really need much more upside at the quarterback position. We have George Kittle, though, so I don't really need much more upside at the tight end position. So, I mean, I theoretically could take one more receiver here and just go two tight, two tight ends, two quarterbacks, and just shoot for the moon. Um, since we're going for upside, that might actually be the play. We'll see what's there at quarterback. I don't think there's going to be anyone that – I really feel is ever going to give us a weekly upside. Yeah, like Josh Allen, Drew Brees is okay. Um, definitely need another tight end. So the next guy on my board is Hunter Henry. And he has a different bye week than George Kittle. Yes. So we'll take Hunter Henry. And then with our next pick, I'm looking at either going... We either go DK Metcalf... Or Tyler Higby. Doggone it, this is a tough call. I wish I had one more spot because I'd really like both of these guys. But do I think that DK Metcalf is going to give me enough weekly upside over the receivers that I have to ever make my lineup? But the same question could be asked about Tyler Higby. My only concern is Hunter Henry never stays healthy. George Kittle has always been a bit hurt as well. So if we're looking at potential injury history problems, I think a third tight end is the way to go. Love Tyler Higby this year. Let's just take Tyler Higby. That might have ruined everything. Maybe I should have got, taken DK Metcalf there, but wanted to stay true to the formula of dividing either two or three tight ends or uh, two or three quarterbacks and then having 13 players between running back and receiver. Got one more pick here. Guy takes Corland Sutton, DK Metcalf. Well, at least I don't have to worry about him beating me because now DK Metcalf is going to be on not on anybody's team. So view my team and give you guys the rundown again of this insane three-team draft. We've got Patrick Mahomes and Kyler Murray at quarterback. We've got Alvin Kamara, Miles Sanders, Saquon Barkley, Nick Chubb, Clyde edwards helaire and Jonathan Taylor at running back. We've got Amari Cooper, Allen Robinson, DJ Moore, AJ Brown, Calvin Ridley, Cooper Cup, and Tyreek Hale at receiver. And then at tight end, we've got Tyler Higby, Hunter Henry, and George Kittle. Absolute bonkers. Let's look at the other teams here since since we could do that. I want to see what, what ended up. It went so fast, it's hard to pay attention to what the other guys are doing other than uh, just observing runs. So let's see this other guy here. We got Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott. Okay, that's that's really good trio there. Josh Jacobs, Derek Henry, Joe Mixon, Kenyon Drake, Ezekiel Elliott. We went with the five running back approach. We got Julio Jones, Stephon Diggs, Tyler Lockett, Michael Thomas, Adam Thielen, Devontae Parker, DeAndre Hopkins, Kenny Galladay, heavier on receiver, and then Jared Cook, Zach Ertz. I, I feel like I like my team better, but yeah, who knows? Who knows? And then let's look at this guy. Shout out to these guys. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Matt Ryan, Tom Brady, all right. Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey, that one's great. Austin Eckler, Aaron Jones, Leonard Fournette. So they both went the five running back, three quarterback route. I went two quarterback, six running back. Again, if both Patrick Mahomes and Kyler Murray get hurt, I'm screwed. But in a three-team league, you pretty much need everything to go your way. Uh, Juju, Devontae, Cortland Sutton, Mike Evans, Debo Samuel, Odell, Chris Godwin, and then Travis Kelsey, Darren Waller, Mark Andrews. So he went the three tight end route as well. So we all took a little bit different roster construction strategy, but it's just going to come out to who ended up with the higher upside plays. It's kind of a coin flip, uh, kind of a slot machine uh, in terms of how well 
uh, this draft could end up going for any of us. But again, really like our team. Run it back one more time for you guys. Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray, Saquon Barkley, Alvin Kamara, Miles Sanders, Nick Chubb, Clyde edwards Lair, Jonathan Taylor, Mari Cooper, Allen Robinson, DJ Moore, AJ Brown, Calvin Ridley, Cooper Cup, Tyree Kill, George Kittle, Tyler Higby, Hunter Henry. Absolute bonkers. Well, I hope you guys had as much fun uh, with this draft as I did. If you want to, again, not a sponsor, but check out Drafters. They have a free 25% bonus deposit right now. They have all kinds of different best ball leagues. They've got three teamers as we just did 16. They've got 10 team, 12 team. They got slow drafts or the ones we've been doing are the fast draft. So check it out. And again, if you guys are interested in doing one of these as like a uh, fantasy addiction network group, I would love to set one up. So hit me with your drafters username in the comment section below. If you are interested in doing a best ball draft with me, Make sure you guys also hit that like and subscribe button for more best ball content, more dynasty content, and for more strategy heading into the 2020 season. Can't wait to show you guys what we've been working on, and we'll see you guys in the next video.